Hey guys, it's Fonzie and I'm back with another layout and I actually don't know what kit this is. I really should look it up. I should just look it up online and see what kits I'm using. That'd be so much better. But it is one of the hip kits. Um, I really wanted, I went for this kit because it had a lot of reds and like corals and pinks in it and, <coughs> excuse me, the picture that I am going to, uh, um, do uh, use on this layout is a picture of one of my sister's mini snakes and her name is Echo and she is the cutest little thing ever. She's like a red and white and orange. I love those colors so she's just one of my favorites and she's super sweet so um, I took this picture of her when I was babysitting um, and babysitting for my older sister consists of Three dogs, two cats, quite a bit of snakes, a leopard gecko, and I think that's about it. So, anyways, um, I just decided to mat this with this orange, I think it's a like a light orange cardstock, not cardstock, this pattern paper, and then I also cut out another sheet uh, to go like right in the middle, which I'm using here. And then I also cut out that, it's a hexagon pattern paper, um, to just add a little bit more, um, uh, pattern paper to the mix. So I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's been a long day, guys. Um, so I really wanted to use a lot of frames in this layout. I use maybe like five or six, I think. And I have quite a few laying around. I have the like the foiled ones that we got in another hip kit and so I just have those laying around. I should have probably put them back with the kit that I used them from but didn't. So I don't know which one it is now. So I wanted to use two of them but I only ended up using one. Um, and then I have other ones that I got from, I believe it was the same collection and I had already added like some foam dots to them and I just kind of wanted to play around with some frames in the background um since I don't use them very much but um this that pink one at the top left it doesn't end up making it unfortunately um I just wanted to add some words there some thickers and it wasn't gonna fit on that frame so I ended up changing it out um but yeah and then I decided to put some foam adhesive on the back of my picture which I very rarely do um, I just recently got back into it because I have I'm working on in a scrapbooking binder as opposed to my regular smash book and um, like I said I said before I haven't been able to find a really good smash book I think the only ones I can find are online so it's a little disappointing but I guess they're not they're no longer in anymore I don't know so, anyways, that's besides the point. Um, so here I'm just going to start adhering my frames all down. And, yeah, that's when I, this is when I think I figure out that I'm not going to use that pink one. It's just a little bit too big. Um, and there, it doesn't really match the other frames. That one has like a white border on it. Um, <clears throat> and the other ones don't. So, I am using that grid pattern paper in the back to just to kind of um, make sure everything is straight because I'm notorious for not leaving anything straight on my layouts. Um, I realized that afterwards but um, yeah so like I said I really wanted to use this one and I don't end up using it so I just pull it out and end up putting my thickers on there and it's these really pretty white um, foam thickers. I love these. They're so pretty. Um, and I end up putting like Wild Little Echo as my title for this page and her name is Echo if I didn't mention it before. She has one named Charlie, Echo, and Delta. So, and then she has two other ones that are named uh, Monster and Balta. So, <laughs> she has five snakes. And... Anyways, so I use a different 
set of thickers for her name and then I just put her name right at the bottom of the page. So I just skipped ahead so you guys don't have to watch me do that. And then I also add this cute little flower with the cute little leaves on them. Which that was super cute. And I like how it kind of, not that it fades into the background, but it kind of like blends in. So it kind of is there, but at the same time it's not. I really wanted to use these little flowers. I'm not sure if I end up using them. At this point, I have recorded, I believe, four videos that I still have to edit. So I really want to, um, to record some today. So that's why I have to edit some stuff today. And I'm also going to be doing a couple of um, quilling projects. I'm not sure if I'm going to record those just yet. But in case I do, I think... I'm not sure what happened with a lot of this footage because I just like jumped up to like embellishments are already down, stickers are down. Sorry guys, I don't remember editing this video, but hopefully I did it correctly. And I love little word thickers. I actually just bought a ton of them from Hobby Lobby, so you will be noticing a lot of word thickers. Little, I mean not thickers, word, um, like little word stickers in my like layouts so um anyways what else do I do on this layout I think I end up writing a little bit of journaling right beside the picture where the yellow frame is and then that's about it I think I don't even remember if I put like enamel dots or anything like that I might have um, I also add these cute little gold stars. I really wanted to bring that one up and like place it a little bit even more evenly, but it wouldn't come up. So they're not very forgiving. Um, what else? I really wanted to use that little cloud, but I feel like it didn't really, oh, maybe I do make it work. I do. There it is. Um, and then I just write down a little bit of journaling and I start at the top, like I said. And like I said, I was babysitting at my sister's house and she was, um, Echo was a little PO'd with me for not having put water in her bowl fast enough. So I needed to do that right away. Um, my sister says she can be a diva because she splashes all the water out and then like expects you to refill it. So... I don't know how snakes splash them out, but I guess they do. Um, anyway, so uh, I think that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.